So here I am at the front of the van. I um, wanted to just walk you through the cupboards at the front. So over here we have these um, kind of cut out cupboards here. Uh, they're okay. I think they're a bit, I don't really know what you keep in there. We've just got well kitchen roll in the moment. But there's also, as you can see, there's uh, speakers here. Um, what you need to be a bit careful of is um, the wires behind the speakers. They're, they're in there, so you need to be careful when you're pushing stuff in because you could easily, I think, disconnect those bit cables. Um, again, they're not very big. Push catches there to stop them coming open while you're traveling. Um, we do like this white, although fingerprints, mm, get fingerprints just about everywhere, still can't really be helped. Um, moving around to the other side, there's an identical cupboard. Um, we had a bit of an issue here with um, it rattling about like that so what I've done is just I've just dropped that there but there's a bit of cardboard in there we'll have to just get the hinges adjust or something so same that side um, one thing different we have the radio uh, Bluetooth radio you could um, pair your phone up with it um, good sound uh, you can also play um, play via Bluetooth uh, music from your phone which again is good uh, obviously radio DAB Um, just saying, staying on the same side. Uh, it's quite a wide cupboard here. Uh, we found a uh, caravan we had before was a uh, Swift. Um, no, sorry, Sterling actually, Sterling um, Eccles. Um, it had two cupboards here. So having one is actually a bit easier, but they are a bit heavy. Um, in here you've got um, TV aerial booster. Um, plenty of storage space as you see there. And there's the shelf unit there on that side. Right, so across to the other side. Again, a big cupboard. It looks to be yeah the same size as the other the other side. Um, same sort of configuration. Big thing there for putting higher things. In here we keep uh, tins, uh, fruit bowl, and just tea towels and stuff like that. Um, these are soft clothes. I think you can see there. If I let that go. Uh, moving along just a bit further. We've got the one above the sink. Now this has a, a positive catch, so you have to undo it. That's something you'd need to be careful of. Uh, what they said to us at the dealer was, they've had people that have just tried to open these without, you know, I can see that maybe breaking the cupboard. Um, but I think as long as you're careful, it's okay. Now one thing we are gonna change with this is a plate rack. We don't really get on with this plate rack. Um, it's just really fiddly and maybe the space isn't big enough so so it's just screwed in so we're going to take that out and just lay plates flat um uh, this side you've got the mug uh, this is really good actually keep mug in mugs in maybe keep up to four four mugs i think yeah the maximum there that side uh, the other side um again this is above the sink um we keep glasses and general bits and pieces so next to that is the microwave um, some sort of eco uh, switch on here where you have to press a button this eco button I'm not in I'm not clicked the main moment, but eco button there to turn it on and that turns off um, automatically um, we keep the glass plate in the drawer don't keep it in there whilst traveling that's something um, I suppose you'd learn that lesson if it broke back here to the front now one of the things we liked about the Bailey um, is one of the few things that was uh, um, you know, made the deal for us was this, uh, I don't know what they call it, panoramic window or something. Um, it's sort of get a, it goes the full length of the front of the caravan. Um, these are still stiff. So loads of light. Um, we keep that shut quite a lot, especially where we are on drive, we keep the blinds shut. Um, when traveling we open them but um, yeah shut during while we're here keeps the sun off we always get a bit concerned that maybe the sun will bleach the uh, fabric on the seats don't know whether that's true or not but anyway um, back to the front so we've got these obviously side so side windows here um, down here little pockets where you can put um, things like iPads iPhones or Android devices obviously because these lights have, the front two lights have USB connectors so you if you plug it in there you can tuck the 
the phone in here, which is good. They're Velcroed on. Um, what we'd like to see is uh, that same sort of thing up on the bedside, the side of the bed. That would be really useful because at the moment we charge our phones there um, and just kind of leave them on the shelf. And you could, if you're not careful, you could probably strangle yourself on the USB cable. Maybe not. So as I just mentioned there, it is a twin axle cam then, um, which gives you a bit of extra length. And what Bailey have done with this model is they've, uh, there's no front locker. A lot of people don't like that. Um, where am I gonna put my gas ball? Where, where am I gonna put my, whatever, whatever stuff you put in the locker, where are you gonna put them? Um, so we've kind of found different places for different things. I think you just have to think outside the box a little bit on that. Um, having had a front locker for well, we've had a caravan since 2006, so you know, for quite a few years we've been caravanning. Um, but what it does give you is um, longer bench seats here, because they don't have the... Now, I'm just being sold this by a salesman, so I'm repeating what he said. They don't have the bulk head at the front. Uh, you can take the seats all the way to the front of the caravan. See, there's no... Sometimes you get like a little shelf there. Well, we don't have a little shelf. Um, so the seats go all the way back. So it does make them, I would guess, the length of that. So again, it's that 60 centimeter figure that I'll probably quote quite a few times during this video. I think it gives you that much space. Um, again, doesn't sound a lot, but, but it is, I can assure you. Right, a little downside for you. Um, front door, as you see there, is a barn door, which is great. So you can open, open it halfway. Um, here, I won't open the door just now, but it has this fly screen here. And what's happened is, probably the second or third time we used it, this has come off the rail there. So it won't, so that is a little tiny piece of plastic that broke. Um, really frustrating, and I'd imagine not easily fixed, probably a replacement, but it's just, I don't, you know, first or second time we used it. Um, so when it shuts, it sometimes comes out of here. And that's just gonna get worse, I think, unless we get it rectified fairly soon. Right, so now a small tour of the kitchen area. A couple of plug sockets here. Uh, lights for the well, kitchen light there. LEDs uh, under here and uh, up there. And that one, it does I think they call them airplane lights, you know, so at the bottom of the, which is, which is very nice at night. But one of the things I will say about the lighting on this van, I think it's all personally too bright. Uh, you can dim the um, reading lights, but there's so many lights and it's so, well, yeah, what can you do? I mean, you can moan about everything, I suppose, but that's just me. Audi heating controls here. Um, this is the splashback area behind the um, cooker. Uh, it's very good. Um, easy wipe clean. Um, easy easy wipe clean blind there. It's not a pleated one. Um, again, we've had caravans where they have pleated caravan uh, pleated blinds there, and um, they do get mucky. Nice domestic style tap. Um, draining board. Chopping draining board. Chopping board under there. Uh, move on to the cooker now. This is really good. I'll put an asterisk after that. This is really good here because it does extend your, your worktop uh, when you're not when you're not cooking. Mm, so how do you open it? So you just open it like this. Right, that's fair enough. All well and good. There's your cooker. We glass top. Take that off. Great. Now uh, Bailey have come up with this idea of securing these with a like a pop stud, a, a stud, whatever you call it. One of these, see, it's difficult, um, let me, that's on. Right, um, what I'll do, I'll move the camera and just show you me taking it off. Right, so here's the, I just um, secured this, as you saw me, I've just turned the light on just so you can see, hopefully it's kind of clear. Uh, there's a strap down there, which is clipped on. Now to unclip it, you know, I'm gonna break that, 100% at some point there wow I don't know maybe velcro could have been used or something but 
I don't like that. Um, cooker, as I said there, with the, you can lift both of those up, glass and wood. Uh, three, two big, two big gas rings, one smaller one, and an electric one, which we like to, well, we use on site sometimes, not, not all the time. And one, another good thing here, a little bit of space here. I don't know, I don't know if this is a, a twin axle thing. I don't think so, I think they've all got this. Um, but it just means you can uh, put the pot handles around here rather than have them out here. It's a really silly little thing, but very good. And under there is a, a cupboard. I think most people would use that for wine. We've got orange juice. Thetford Caprice Mark III. Wow, really, one of those at last. Um, grill, oven, um, just noticed this while we was, when we was in France last. I was reading there something there and it said, uh, make sure that the heat shield is in place. I didn't know what the heat shield was. There it is. When you're using the grill, just a little, you know, does it make any difference? Maybe it does. Um, the rest of the uh, cooker is uh, pretty bog standard, I'm, I'm guessing. Well, I'm not guessing, I know it is. <laughs> um, white fronts, we like this. Some people don't, we did. Um, they're all catches to stop them coming open when traveling. Now, I find they're you know, blooming hard to open, but I am guess they'll um, ease off a bit as it gets a bit older. Soft close, hurrah. Um, this here, I don't know what it is, but when people open it, maybe they twist it a bit, but after a few times, it comes off. All right, that's not very good. Why does it need to be twisty? Anyway, again, very small moan. Three drawers there. Bottom, bottom one has pots and pans in, as you can see, which is, um, oh, and gas um, on and off. So I think that's pretty much covered the front of the van. Uh, one thing I just wanted to cover, sorry if my face keeps going dark and light, it's, uh, because it's although it's a, a boiling hot sunny day I've got a lot of blind shut and I've got just some lights on and the roof lights are making me look brighter and then when they're not there obviously I'm looking darker. Um, front chest of drawers here you've got the uh, table that pulls out, very standard, two drawers all fairly standard and then uh, big cupboard there quite it's quite big anyway um probably put shoes in there uh it's handy anyway so something else we liked about the uh twin axle van uh, and that's something we knew not something we knew about before we uh did some research was that you actually at least on the um well at least on certain caravans twin axle um, you get a larger fridge, um, which we liked. Um, old caravan, the fridge was um, just under the sink there. Uh, in the twin axle Bailey Cartagena, the fridge is just there. And um, it's uh, maybe 190 litres. If I'm wrong, I'll put something at the bottom there. Um, so I want a slight slope so it won't stay open. Freezer compartment at the top. Uh, big fridge at the bottom. What I'll do, I'll actually wedge this open in a second uh, just so I can have a good look in there. Okay, so I've managed to wedge the fridge open now. Um, freezer there, freezer compartment there. Um, ice. Fridge there, one, I mean, one, two, three shelves and a compartment at the bottom that I think you put uh, vegetables in or something. But below that is the fuse box it's kind of like a domestic one really you've got uh, trips which is and fuses at the bottom at the top cupboard at the top is going to have stuff in it but what I wanted to show you is the, the solar panel um, connector battery charger actually uh, not forgetting smoke and carbon monoxide alarms there so these these um, LED lights, actually I'll just show you. So these ones don't have USB chargers, 
that the front ones do. Um, they are dimmable, which I liked, I must say. So there you go, that's it on, and then, I don't know if it come up, on, yeah, brighter, oh, that's bright, and then dimmer. Again, like I said earlier, this caravan is a bright caravan with the lights, so these are, you know, in the evening we generally have these on. If you point them up there, they get a bit dimmer. Um, but I like them. Just before we head towards the back of the van and, and the bed, uh, this shelf here is big enough for a TV. We normally, we put the TV on the shelf, but I believe you could mount a wall bracket there if you wanted one. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that they should come as standard wall brackets. I don't agree with that. I don't really want one. So if they come as standard, I'd have to take it off and fill holes anyway. So keep it as it is, in my opinion. This. Uh, quite a deep cupboard here um, there you go it's so uh, you can't really see that but it's we keep bits and bobs in there but it's a nice curved kind of cupboard fits in well there and just down there is a drawer uh, a cupboard rather with uh, a door on it which we could keep shoes in or um, well whatever you want it really I think the idea is you come in with muddy boots from your country ramble and put your walking boots in there don't need to get anything else muddy and of course a black mat there for you to wipe your feet on carpets um, are removable as with most it's not if not all vans so there now I'll have a question for anybody who can answer there's this plastic thing on the bottom and then under that there's what I know as lino um, do I take that off or leave it on I don't know because uh, we thought next time we're in South France when it's really hot and we get sand everywhere we'd maybe leave the even leave the carpets at home um, but I don't want to walk on that stuff so I don't know if I can take it up or not I want to think of it they have velcro um, bits here and you get things that you could stick to the floor to stop them moving around and they do move around a bit but no more than any other caravan um, you can obviously take them out to wash so the same as these are all liftable and up here is your um, battery battery charging well, I'm not an electrician, but that tells you what voltage your batteries are. Um, you've got plug socket here for your TV and TV point there. Um, on and off for your, that's the light switches for the front two lights. Oh, that's better. That's, you've got to turn that on before you turn the lights on. That's your main on switch. Uh, that's your awning light. And this is internal and external water tank which I haven't mentioned and I'll go back to the front to talk about that briefly and what I was actually going to show you is the um, water um, boiler and the internal tank water tank uh, but they're under under there and uh, that's full of stuff that cupboard under there so I don't rather than drag it all out I mean it's a boiler and a, another water tank you can you can trust me on that um, I can't see a, a reason I'd ever use the internal tank. Um, I think again when we were looking at it, people, uh, salesman said, yeah, if you want to have a shower and you've got your uh, 40 litre aqua roll in another, oh, I can't remember now, 40 litres in there. Um, but when the outside one runs out, you need to flick the switch that I just showed you earlier to the internal tank. So if you was on your own, you'd have to run out the shower and, you know, I, really well some people would use it i suppose um i can't see a reason why i'll ever use it um so it's, it's a manual switch over anyway both um switch up there and a switch under there i don't think so that's not that doesn't help me at all but again it's not all about me it might help somebody else <laughs>